In this video, I'm gonna address the repeat note on your MPC, and I'm gonna kinda of show you how to migrate your sequence from your MPC to Ableton. Hopefully, this will help. So let's start with the note repeat. Uh, if you wanna repeat a note, just hold the tap tempo button down, and as you can see right here, it gives you the selections for the tempo, the note repeat that you want and then hold down the note. I've got a tambourine right here and I've got it set at 1 8th dash 3. Now check it out. And that's pretty much it for the note repeat. You can do kind of fancy stuff where you hold this down and do this. And whatever you can think of really, it's pretty fun. Now, since this is an MPC video, let's make a beat. I've already got some samples loaded. Record and play. You hit mode and save, it brings up the save screen. Click over to entire memory and click over to memory card. And then I'm gonna create a new folder and we'll call this uh, MPCA, how's that? And delete the rest of these and hit enter and then i'm gonna hit do it and that will save all my samples that i used for that beat to a folder on my memory card so i can take the memory card and load those into whatever sound program i'm using on my computer just take this memory card out of my mpc and place it into this card reader for my laptop. I've got this USB to mid adapter that I can plug into my MPC and use it to get the mid data off for sequencing. And then you just plug this baby right into the back of your MPC. I'm gonna use port number one and letter A. When you're using the mid out for each of the tracks, make sure that you tab over to the mid section and set it to something that corresponds with the A jack for the out. That way you know it's coming out of the A. If you scroll through this, it'll go to B and that means it's coming out of the B port mid on the other side. So since I'm using A, I'm gonna have this as A1. I'm just gonna send these all on the same mid channel. So there's A1. Now, if you can see in the corner here, I've got the drum racks loaded in Ableton. I have no samples in there yet, but what you can see if I zoom in, and each time I hit one of these pads, it triggers a track on one of these pads corresponding in Ableton. Once you got all that sorted out, all you need to do is hit record in Ableton and play on your MPC. And that tracks all of the MIDI sequencing data to Ableton.
since I know that this is a two bar loop, I just picked two bars out of the group uh, for sample assigning. Once you drag your samples over, this is a bass drum. You drag that over to the location it's used on the pads. Crank the sample time up to a release that plays the entire trigger. You can see the number right there. And I've done the rest of them for you, so you guys don't have to watch me drag every single one. I'll hit play. I'm not gonna go into extreme depth in setting up your mid for your Ableton or for your MPC, but this should get you through so that you can transfer your stuff from your MPC to Ableton and work on it. Uh, I left out some of the effects and I changed some of the samples up in the transfer because I kind of like the sound of the new way better. But uh, that's pretty much it. Enjoy. If you have any other questions, just send me an email.